Hello there, my name's Mark Gregory and this song I'm about to do is called The Latter Rain. When I wrote it, I was living in the Blue Mountains west of Sydney in Australia. I rented a house and a workshop in a small village which was in the middle of a really big native rainforest. I think it went for about 10,000 square kilometres and it was huge. I used to go walking and hiking sometimes. It was a beautiful pristine environment. Before then I was only been a Christian for about five years and in my private, previous life I'd lived a fairly selfish existence and I was now um, reaping the consequences and repercussions of many bad decisions and poor life choices that I'd made. Every day I was reminded of what a bad guy I'd been. Well, one day I was down walking in the forest and I was having a good old moan to God while I was thinking about my, my sad life. <laughs> you know, you can do that. There's a place in the Bible where in, I think it's in 1 Peter, where it says, you cast your cares on the Lord because he cares for you. And I kind of like that, really. You know, for somebody like me. And in that context, you know, the word cares means the source of all your anxiety and worry and your distraction. And then the word cast means to throw out like a dirty, smelly blanket. <laughs> You throw it off. And I thought, you know, th these are the words of a friend. These aren't the words of some mysterious God. These are the words of a friend. This is the words of a friend saying, look, if there's anything I can do to help, give me a call, text me. You know, and he means it. And so as I was walking along thinking about this, you know, we're talking about personal relationship stuff here, you know in case you're wondering. <laughs> but as I was walking along, it started to rain. And it was very gentle rain, very just soft rain, just sort of like floating down from the treetops way up above. And of course, um, I thought straight away of the latter rain, which is often mentioned in the Bible. And it's an analogy of usually the arrival of God's presence. And as I was thinking that, sure enough, I did actually feel God's presence. And I knew it was him because I'd felt it before. And it wasn't the last time I'd felt him. And I knew he was there and I knew that, you know, it's a very precious moment. And I stopped and I was silent. And I just waited. And then I felt him begin to heal my heart up. And I felt his overwhelming love for me. And I began to cry and uh, I just dropped down onto my knees and it was as if he was speaking to me, speaking strength into my heart, you know, and I couldn't hear a voice, but I just, I just knew that someone was speaking into my heart, speaking strength. And then it was also as if he was just draining away all my regrets and my remorse and my disappointment and my guilt that I'd accrued over the years. Well, who knows how long it lasted, I don't. But gradually he gently just kind of moved away and I stood up and walked back up to my workshop. You know, something had changed. Well, in the following years, I was reminded many, many times of all the indiscretions that I'd made in my previous life. And you know what? It never ever took me down again because of what happened that day in the latter rain. Cast your cares on the Lord because he cares for you. Here's the song. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.
My strength returned, my 